Meet Abu Bakar Yusuf, a master craftsman who dedicated over two decades in perfecting his artistry within the bustling Gombemen market. Despite facing the challenges of disability, Abu Bakr remained steadfast in his conviction that Pekin was not the path to a fulfilling life. Instead, he fought his passion and skill into his craft, transforming one out shoes. I have been crafting shoes and balls for at least 22 years now. During this period, I got married, shouldered the responsibility of raising my children, and I gained everything from this craft. In fact, this is my life. Abu Bakr's concern weighs heavily on his heart as he observes his trained apprentices grappling with a significant barrier to fully utilizing their acquired skills, the inability to afford essential working tools, while their potential remains untapped. Abu Bakr's dedication to empowering others persists, driving him to seek solutions and opportunities for his apprentices to overcome this hurdle and unlock their true potential. I am currently facing challenges due to the recent rise in the price of our raw materials. Customers are expressing dissatisfaction with the increased cost of our services, prompting us to make adjustments. However, my primary concern lie with our trained employees who lack the means to acquire tools or rent spaces to initiate their own ventures. Consequently, I urge the government and affluent individuals to support their endeavors and their success will ultimately benefit us all. Optimism fuels Abu Bakr's vision for a brighter future, one where the collaboration between government initiatives and the generosity of affluent individuals paves the way for millions of youth to break free from the cycle of unemployment and dependency on government jobs. With strategic support and investment, Abu Bakr ambitions a landscape where opportunities abound, empowering the youth to harness their potential, contribute meaningfully to society, and forge their own path to success. Hassan Kohli, Trusty B News, Gwambi.